Which do you need to create massive wealth and achieve life beyond your wildest dreams? Is it the law of attraction or hard work? Well, the answer might surprise you because it's not one or the other, it's both. And it's really combining both in the right way that will get you the result that you want. I'm Maggie Rita, Conscious Mindset Coach, Business Strategist and Lightworker from Pitbull and Founder and Creator of the Wealth Consciousness Movement and the Conscious Wealth Revolution. And I'm on a mission to empower as many impact-driven entrepreneurs and wealth seekers as possible so you can achieve a life beyond your wildest dreams and help them make the help to make the world a better place because I know together we can change the world. So there's a whole lot of expansion going on in the world right now. Ever since The Secret came out about 15 years ago, there's this, been this whole new movement around the law of attraction. There's been a lot of people making a lot of money out of this new industry called the law of attraction. And the philosophy of the law of attraction is that as long as you are vibrating at the right frequency, then you will attract everything that you want to you. And a lot of people are doing nothing. <laughs> so they are just wishing and hoping and, and doing sort of, you know, different things to vibe high, but they're not doing anything else. Meanwhile, you have a whole lot of other people in the world who are working their cabooses off and they're tired, they're exhausted, but no matter how hard they work, they just can't seem to get out from under the huge amount of financial stress and pressure. They cannot seem to get the freedom that their, uh, their business was supposed to create for them. They've kind of bought themselves a job. And they, this job, they're working way longer hours. They've got way more pressure and responsibility. And it's just not working for them. So why is that? Now, here's the thing. If you think of the most wealthy and successful people in the world, what do they do? They do work hard, don't they? If you think of somebody on one extreme, like Elon Musk, the insane hours that he works, and it is relentless. It is every single day. He doesn't take time out. I heard him say in an interview recently that in the last, I think, seven years, he has tried to take a week off twice, and each time the, the proverbial hit the fan and he was actually unable to take any time off. So he never takes time off. He has had multiple disastrous relationships. Um, he's populating the planet pretty well and he's got five multi-billion dollar businesses and he's doing some really cool stuff that nobody else has ever done before. But at what cost? Personally, I'm not somebody who wants to work as hard as Elon Musk or have as much responsibility and pressure as that dude manages every single day. And on the other hand, you've got a whole lot of other people who are just wishing and hoping. And let me tell you, hopium is not a strategy for success and wealth. And thinking that as long as they think positive thoughts, that they're all they're going to make a billion dollars. It doesn't work like that. So it is the combination of the law of attraction and hard work that actually gets you to achieve your goals and dreams. How hard you need to work depends on how big your goal, your dream is, how quickly you want to achieve it. So the harder you work, the more quickly, as long as you are doing the right things, it's got to be the most effective work. The, the action that you take has to be efficient and effective, right? So like I said, you can work and 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 achieve nothing, go bankrupt, go backwards. You don't want that. So how do you get the right combination? Well, the law of attraction is definitely a thing. Your frequency and vibration is definitely a very, very, very important part of the equation. So it is all about getting into the optimum state of being. So everything is a state. Abundance is a state. Wealth is a state of being. Your success depends on your ability to get into optimum states of mind and solving problems, being positive, taking action, moving your way forward every single day and being in that can do no matter what, whatever it takes kind of state or having that kind of attitude that is essential. 
And as you are doing that and you are elevating your states, your frequency, your vibration, then you are bringing the action piece into it, right? So that's the combination. It is vibing high and then taking the action because that moves mountains. So and coming back to somebody who is truly wealthy and successful, like an Elon Musk, and what they do is they take relentless action. They are always looking for solutions to problems. They are constantly solving problems. That's what entrepreneurs do best. So successful entrepreneurs, the, one of their greatest skill sets is knowing how to solve problems and they do it very, very well. The more problems you solve, you get better at solving problems. It is a skill set that you develop just like anything else. You become a master at solving problems because you're always solving problems. So those who are truly successful don't get there by not solving problems. They get there because they solve a lot of problems and they get very, very good at it. So it's a combination of getting into a state of massive momentum and taking action every day. And remember that your, your momentum will build. So if you think of a rocket in a state of inertia, right, it takes an incredible amount of fuel, of effort, of energy just to get that rocket ship out of its state of inertia and moving off the launching pad. And as it, it continues to put all those boosters and chew all that fuel and, and propel it into the sky, it gets momentum. And as it keeps building momentum and it gets out of the pull of Earth's gravitational field, it builds more and more speed, more and more momentum until once it's out of Earth's gravitational pull, then it can shut off its rocket boosters and it can cruise. Now, I'm not saying that necessarily you are ever going to be able to do that. That depends on what it is that you want to achieve and whether at some point you just want to shut off the rocket boosters and cruise. If you have set yourself up to be able to do that, then cool. But you have to have the right systems and strategies and structures in place, the infrastructure to support the, uh, the business and its future development and main maintenance, being able to maintain what you've already built. So yes, there are highly successful people out there who they get their businesses to a certain point, they delegate everything else, they are then the figurehead, and they might be there for you know board meetings and and general um, and general problem solving. But they're cruising while their business is working hard for them. But that is not the way it works in the beginning. <laughs> There is an incredible amount of effort required to get that momentum initially. And if you are um, sporadic with your effort, then coming back to the rocket ship, if before that rocket ship gets out of Earth's gravitational pull, if anybody shuts off the rockets, what's it going to do? Fall straight back down to Earth. It's going to crash back to Earth, isn't it? The same happens in your business. It is the effective steps that you take every day that accumulate and it's actually exponential growth along the way. But if you only show up every now and then, then you never get the momentum and you are always starting over. You're always starting from scratch. Now, that is never going to get you to where you want to be. So let's come back to the original purpose of this video. So you want to leverage the law of attraction. Absolutely. And you do that by getting absolute clarity on what it is that you want to create. A lot of people that I talk to, I ask them what it is that they want. A lot of them don't know. How on earth are you ever going to leverage the universe, the power of the universe and the law of attraction if you don't know what you want? So get absolutely clear on what it is that you want to create. Focus on it relentlessly to the exclusion of everything else. Don't get a st stuck like a deer in headlights in your problems. It is a can-do, no matter what, whatever it takes kind of attitude and relentless focus on your vision, your goal, your dream. It's developing an unstoppable mindset. And a part of an unstoppable mindset is self-belief, self-worth, self-confidence, and self 
love. This is a part of your frequency and vibration, that loving vibe, loving yourself unconditionally into wealth, into success, into living the life of your dreams. That is a really big part of this, okay? So the internal work on the mindset, absolutely critical and essential. And of course, then you need to show up every day and take efficient and effective action toward your goals and dreams. This comes down to the Pareto principle because as entrepreneurs, let me tell you, there is always a never-ending to-do list. Get used to it. It is, a, it's just a, a part of what the life is as an entrepreneur, a never-ending to-do list. As you build your business, you will be able to delegate more of that, but there will still be a long to-do list. So here's what's really important. You will never get it all done, ever. It's not something like in a job where you just get through all the chores that you have and then you're like, oh, sweet, i got nothing left to do. Oh, okay, well, I might just go to lunch. Or uh, when I go home, I've got nothing to think about. That never happens as an entrepreneur, let me tell you. It's constant. So, um, but it is identifying what are the most efficient and effective actions that you can take to get the most progress. And it comes back to the Pareto principle, the 80-20 rule. 80% of your actions will get 20% of your results. 20% of your actions will get 80% of your results. So you've got to identify the 20%. Now, I forget who it was, but there was a very well-known entrepreneur who said, you then want to identify the 20% of the 20%, right? So you actually come down to 4% of your actions gets the biggest bang for your buck. So you've got to be really strategic. And when you are looking at achieving your goals and dreams, you are implementing systems, structures, strategies. Um, you are putting... Um, various processes in place that help you to leverage your time. Because when you learn how to multiply your resources and amplify your time by putting these kind of in, this kind of infrastructure in place, all of a sudden you have the ability to build absolutely anything. So this is the whole thing of working smarter, not harder. So I'm going to leave it there because there is a whole lot that goes into building any business and being successful and building wealth. But for this particular video, it's not about choosing the law of attraction and sitting around and just doing affirmations and, and working on your high vibration. It's not a just about grinding and getting into really hard work and basically exhausting yourself and ending up with a, a mental and emotional and physical breakdown because you've worked so damned hard. It's about working smart. It's about using the law of attraction. It's about getting into that vibration. It's about working on your mindset and becoming the best and most powerful version of you and evolving into the person who you need to become to achieve your goals and dreams. And it's about effort. There's got to be sweat equity involved. If you really want to achieve something great, then there's definitely a, a huge amount of satisfaction and fulfillment that comes from stretching yourself, from getting out of your comfort zone, from going all in on your goal, your vision, your dreams. So from this point forward, get so, so clear on what it is that you want to achieve on your vision, on your mission, on your goal, and then go all in with a can-do, no matter what, whatever it takes kind of attitude and make your achievement non-negotiable because here's the thing, as long as you never quit, as long as you never get up, give up, you cannot fail. You will experience failure as along the, uh, along the way, but it's not a terminal illness. It is just feedback. It is temporary. This too shall pass. It is your way of learning what works and what doesn't work. And it's essential. So get over the stigma of failure. Get over your fear of failure and just do the work. Get it done.
If you've enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe, comment below, let me know what your biggest takeaway is. And if you would like help to put any of this into practice and accelerate your journey to achieving your vision and your goal, then you can book a strategy call with me at the address that is on your screen right now. What I'll do is I'll look at where you are right now and where you want to be and help you to put together a, an effective strategic action plan to get you there as fast as possible. And then we can talk about my coaching programs and how I can actually help you to implement that strategic action plan to really accelerate your journey and help you to achieve more than you ever imagined possible in your business. So if that sounds like you, book the strategy call and I look forward to seeing you in another video very soon. Until next time, take care and bye for now.